Welcome to the Map With Us video tutorial. In this episode, we're going to look at managing and using overlays on maps. You can think of an overlay as an invisible layer that sits on top of the map that you can add your map items to instead of adding them directly to the map. Adding items to a layer allows you to either show or hide all of the items on that layer simply by selecting whether the layer is visible or not. Before we get started, we need to navigate to the site log in, and then go to the Creator tab. The first thing we need to do is select a map to manage overlays on. We will use the map, My First Map of Vancouver, which we have been using over the past several episodes. Now we have the map open in the Creator tab, which means that we can add or edit items using the tools to the left of the map. We want to manage the overlays. We will use the Overlays on this Map tool. As you can see, Currently, our map doesn't have any overlays. We're going to change this, so click on Manage Overlays. Here, we are reminded again that our map doesn't have any overlays attached to it. We can create a new overlay by attaching one to the map. Let's do that. We will name our overlay Vancouver, and then we click Attach. Now our overlay is attached to the map, but it still isn't visible. To make it visible, we need to click on the checkbox for our overlay at the bottom of the Overlays tool pane. Now we have an overlay named Vancouver attached to our map, and it is set to be visible. Let's add a map item to our overlay. To do this, close the Manage Overlays tool and go to the Add and Edit Items tool pane. The first thing at the top of the Add and Edit Items tool pane is a drop-down menu labeled Save Item 2. If we click on this, we can see that our overlay, Vancouver, is listed under the Overlays section. Since we want to add our new item to the overlay and not to the map itself, we will select the Vancouver overlay to add our item to. Now, to add a new item to our overlay, we just grab the blue marker and drag it onto our map at the location that we would like the item to be located on our overlay. We will put it in the middle of the freeway and we will name our item I5 Vancouver. Then click Save in the tool pane to the left of the map. Our map item was updated successfully, so we can go ahead and click on Close, and we can also click Finished Editing in the item itself. Let's add another item and put it on a different overlay. To do this, we go back to the Overlays on this Map tool pane and click on Manage Overlays. This time, we will create a new overlay titled Portland, and then we click Attach to attach it to our map. We can see our overlays get updated, and now our Portland overlay is listed at the bottom of the overlays pane, along with the Vancouver overlay. We will go ahead and select the Portland layer to make it visible as well. Then we can close the tool pane and go back to the Add and Edit Items tab. Now we will add a new item to our Portland overlay. Just like before, we select the overlay on the map to save the item too. This is the Portland overlay, that we just created. Then we grab the blue marker and drag it onto the map where we would like our item to be placed. We will put this one in the middle of the freeway also, and we will name the item I5 Portland, and then click Save to update the item. We are done editing this item, so we can go ahead and click Finished Editing. Okay, now we have two overlays on our map. We have the first one that we titled Vancouver, and we have the second one that we titled Portland. Additionally, we have several items that aren't on layers, but are on the map itself. Let's go back to the Overlays tool to see what else we can do with overlays. Notice that both of our overlays are selected, meaning the items on the overlay will be visible on the map. If we uncheck our Vancouver overlay, the item on that overlay will no longer appear on the map. Likewise, if we uncheck our Portland overlay, the item on that overlay will no longer be visible as well. Now that we have overlays attached to our map, let's move the items that aren't on overlays to an overlay. To do this, simply open a map item and click Edit in the Items bubble. Now, in the Add and Edit Items pane on the left, we can choose the overlay that we would like this item to appear on in the Save Item To drop-down menu. Let's put it on the Vancouver overlay. To save the setting, just click Update. Notice at the bottom of the tool pane, there is a message that says, the item's map slash overlay has been updated. Since our update was successful, 
We don't need to save our changes again. We can just click Close, and then click Finished Editing in the Items bubble on the map. We can repeat this process with any items that we would like to move to a different layer. Let's do the same thing with our item titled Next Point on Path. Just open the item, click Edit, go to the Tools pane, and select the layer to move the item to, and click Update. That's it. We can also move path items to a layer. On our map, we have a path that traces out a route for running. Since nothing happens when you click on a path, we will need to take a different approach to editing our path item. To open the item for editing, we can go to the Find Items and Places tool pane on the left of the map. We see our path is the fourth item listed. To edit the path, we can just click the Edit Item link that appears with the item's listing. This will automatically take us back to the Add and Edit Items tool pane, where we can select an overlay to save the item to, just like we did for the previous map items. Then we click Update and see the message below stating that our update was successful. Now if we go back to the Manage Overlays tool pane, we can see that if we toggle the Vancouver overlay off, all of the items that we moved to the Vancouver overlay are no longer visible. And if we toggle it back on, all of the items reappear. The last feature of overlays we will look at is the ability to assign an overlay to a category. Categories allow you to better organize your overlays and also let you toggle the visibility for all overlays in the same category simultaneously. To create a new category, click on the Manage Overlays link in the Overlays on this map tool pane. To set the category for an overlay, select the overlay from the drop-down list of overlays attached to the map, and then type in the name of the category that you would like that overlay to belong to. We will create a category named Cities for our Vancouver overlay. To do this, we make sure the Vancouver overlay is selected, and then we type in the name of our category in the Category field and click Change. You can see that our new category, Cities, is now listed at the bottom of the tool pane, along with our Portland overlay, which doesn't belong to a category yet. Let's go ahead and add the Portland overlay to the Cities category as well. We just select the overlay, type in the name of the category, Cities, and click Change. Now we see only the category listed below. If we expand the Cities category, we can see the two overlays that belong to that category, Vancouver and Portland. Now we can toggle off the layers individually or all at once by toggling the category that the overlays belong to. As you can see, using overlays can be a powerful way to organize the content on your map. We hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, have fun making maps.